ended up being uh, one of the main people using social media to help organize people on the ground. It was um, sort of an organic thing that I became that person, uh, literally through just enough people reacting to my social media, my Twitter feed mainly, but I also had a blog where I was posting a lot of information. And so my doing the social media turned into also doing a lot of the food deliveries um, as people around the state and the country. And then it turned out in parts of the world wanted to order food for the protesters. I was the easiest person for them to communicate with who was in the capital and could actually receive deliveries. So I quickly and for the whole time became the person who was heading up most of those deliveries. This is straight from Senator Wendy Davis, okay? Hold your applause. First, I love you guys, okay? Woo! We love you too, Wendy! <laughs> The Lieutenant Governor has agreed that SB5 is dead. I think social media, it, there were two separate things that um, it did. And one was that it allowed people on the ground to actually communicate with each other. So one of the things that I and it still surprises me when I think about how it worked, but there would be times where someone from an organization who was actually an organizer and they were trying to move people to go to a certain place, they would ask me to tweet, like, please come to whatever room at this time if you can volunteer to do whatever thing, and people would show up. And that was mind blowing every time that it happened. Um, and so, it would allow us to actually organize the people on the ground. At the same time, it was instrumental in telling the story and making people who, it, it both allowed people in the state who couldn't come to the Capitol, as we all know, Texas is huge. It allowed them to stay directly connected to what was happening. And then it also allowed people who may not otherwise care have access to what turned on to be an incredibly emotional uh, experience. And I think having, a, especially Twitter and things associated with it, like Vine that allowed us to post videos, um, allowed people into what it actually felt like to be there, even if they couldn't be there. There's sort of a famous story at, uh, now that we all laugh about that at the time when the final hour was rolling down and especially in like the last 10 minutes leading up to midnight there are thousands of people in the capitol they're all screaming so loud that the legis legislators can't hear each other so they can't actually vote and this huge thing is i think there were oh maybe up to 200,000 people on the live feed so they're using youtube in order to actually watch what's happening on the floor in the gallery and we're all tweeting i think i read somewhere at the peak that night there was almost there were like 5600 tweets going out in a minute or something like that uh, from the capitol and or about what was happening and on cnn they were talking about like low-fat blueberry muffins something to that effect so social media made people care about what Wendy Davis was doing. I think they call it a conversational it's not a panel it's a conversation i think is how they call it um how they name it and so the two of us julie is an amazing storyteller she uh, runs a thing called bed post confessions where people get up and they tell their stories and she um she knows a lot about how people do that in lots of different ways and then of course I'm the person that understands digital media. And so together we're going to try to 
talk about like the ideas that we get the audience involved in the conversation and how how it is that you can use something that seems so um you hear a lot of stories about the way that the, the internet and social media makes it so people don't really connect and that's not true right this summer was proof that digital media could bring all kinds of people's stories um, out in a way that connected people. And so we wanna have a conversation uh, specifically around what happened this summer, because it's an amazing example, but sort of the larger way that people can use digital media to tell stories. Work. The promise of Texas is bigger than personal ambition. It's bigger than one political party. Together we can do what they won't. We can stand, we can stand up for each other, we can stand up for what's right, and we can stand up for Texas. God bless you.